High on a Himalaya watershed, the men and women of remote communities who rely on the land are working together to forge out a living. Their landscape has been devastated over the years, and to survive, they realize that they have to take extra care of what is left. Local custom has traditionally given little say to women, but now they're listened to and their experience taken into account. Women and men need to have an equal voice to protect their environment and increase their prosperity. This is key to the sustainable management of resources, not just in Uttarakhand, but all over the world. There are as many women in the world as men, but in some countries, women have less rights than men and often work harder than men. Almost everywhere, women are paid less and have less opportunity than men. Studies show that when women are given a chance to participate, the environment and natural resources are better managed. Enabling equality helps the natural world to survive and prosper for the benefit of all. The Global Environment Facility, or GEF, is working to improve equal access and opportunity for women and men and girls and boys in all areas of its work. In Cambodia, the Temei commune have balanced the gender constituency of their planning committees. Women and men together are administering three climate adaptation projects with GEF assistance. It was the women who pointed out that improving water quality reduces family sickness, especially among the young. They are also developing a new resilient type of rice that increases food supply and nutrition, and they have found that joint male-female savings groups unite the community to work together on their environment and livelihood. The results are impressive. New schools have been built, rice is now marketed to other villages, and household income has increased significantly. In Uttarakhand, equal representation in the Gramia community project means more maintenance of the ecosystem, which in turn enhances livelihoods. GEF funding has supported rehabilitation and management of watersheds so they can undertake all season production and protect the ecosystem. This in turn enables them to market their surpluses. The production of pine needle briquettes for cooking is a win-win environmental solution. Now used in more than 9,000 households, it has meant women spend significantly less time collecting firewood and cooking. It has reduced CO2 emissions in the kitchen, preserved trees, and helped prevent damaging forest fires. In Uttarakhand, 20 degraded watersheds are now functioning well, and more than 60,000 acres are under sustainable management, driven and owned by the communities. <laughs>